Good morning guys, it's uh, 8.26 here, Eagle, Colorado, 23 degrees out. It should be sunny all day long for the most part. You can look out there. Oh, yep, there we go. Gonna get some breakfast here in just a minute. Gonna get some exercise instead of going down to the little workout room they have by the pool and get on the treadmills. I think we're gonna actually walk. You know, do a brisk walk up here in the mountains at 6,500 feet. It'll be work. It'll be work because I'm going to be on these little mountain roads. Uh, uphill. Downhill. Uphill. Downhill. Good exercise, though. Pretty day. Hotel's going to be uh, kicking us out at 1 o'clock. So we'll leave at 1, get some lunch, head over to the airport, and then we're just going to be killing time, doing some busy work till uh, 5 o'clock. Told them we got to be out of here by uh, 5.30 at the latest. Uh, we want to leave before dark. And they're pretty good at that. They actually said, well, we'll try to get here even earlier. And normally when they say that, they're, they're pretty good at it. So I'm not worried about that. See you guys out there. There's a creek down here. I can hear it. There it is. Well, the nice thing about an uphill grade, when you finish, it's all downhill. creek running through there. Horses, cars trying to run me down. This is much better on the downhill. I wonder where he's heading to. Backpack, walking the road. Okay, weather looks good on either end. No notams that pose a problem. TFR flight restrictions. Take a quick look at the, uh, the map here. No problems on our way to St. Louis. And let's take a look at the uh, aviation maps. That looks good, looks good. Turbulence, take a quick look there. Yeah, we're gonna miss all those air mats uh, for turbulence there. Still a possibility though, so we'll have to watch out for it. I filed, let's see, it's a straight line, 758 nautical miles. It'll be an hour and 52 minutes. We're gonna burn 2,900 pounds. I'll use a 1,500 pound reserve. We'll round it up to 4,500 pounds. That's what we're gonna take off with. So we got 2,000 on board. We need 2,500 pounds more. Should be a good flight. Weather's good on both ends. Should be able to part out of here uh, VFR. And uh, we filed the Gypsum 5, Kremlin Transition, Kansas City, Dixie. Okay, now here's how you figure your load for jet fuel. All of our performance, everything we do is based on pounds of fuel, not gallons. So you've got to figure out how many pounds of fuel you need and then convert it to gallons so you can tell the uh, FBO how many gallons of our jet fuel to pump into the airplane. If we need 2,500 pounds, jet fuel weighs 6.7 pounds per gallon, so we'll divide it by 6.7, and it equals 373.1 gallons. Now, an easy way to do this in your head when you're on the go is... You need 2,500 pounds. Take 10% of 2,500, that's 250. Take half of 250, 125. Add these two together, you get 375 gallons. That's how much fuel you need to order to get 2,500 pounds. Yep, there's our plane. Our plane and the uh, covers are falling out of the back there. They're falling out. The, the just, wind is just... Rotate <laughs> You have to get that reconnected. 